How does a spiritual aspirant know whether they come close to true enlightenment? They don't know. <laughs> and this is the real answer. They do not, they don't know. Um, only a realized soul will know a realized soul. So a master who has realized uh, the self or he realized ultimate reality, such a master, such a guru has the capacity to see, to see the progress of his or her disciples, or to see sometime the, the, the point where the practitioner is. Uh, enlightenment is a very big word. It's so big that in the Upanishads it is said, the mind cannot reach there. The senses cannot reach there. The words cannot reach there. So, although it's our true nature, it's so elevated and beyond everything that we may conceive or imagine that usually a practitioner doesn't know. Therefore, practitioners have preceptors. The pre that's the duty of the preceptor to know. The practitioner shares his spiritual experiences or attainments with his guru or her guru. And the guru gives a confirmation. Or many times the guru does not. So I'm Vishnu Devananda, my own guru. Uh, we, we never give a direct confirmation to our testimony of our spiritual experiences. We would come to him to tell him about our spiritual experiences. And his response was that he will give us a big project of karma yoga. <laughs> because he said that if indeed you reached an elevated state of consciousness, then you should be able, the proof of it is that you can manifest it in the world in the form of service. This is the proof. The greater the enlightenment, the more you can do in order to alleviate the suffering of other human beings and in order to increase their well-being. You can, you'll, you'll have the power to do more. So his way of confirmation was to give us more responsibilities. Uh, bigger projects. Uh, his closest disciples, and this is the truth, I, uh, his closest disciples, those that have been the longest with him, will end the day, when you see them at the end of the day, you think that they came out of a mine, like a coal mine. <laughs> they were sweating, dirty, and then Swamiji would have midnight meetings um, in order to teach us trivial things, like how to do accounting. <laughs> and this was his idea of enlightenment. His idea of enlightenment was enlightenment in action, you see. Um, so Swamiji was a great, great master from any point of view. He had great bhakti and devotion. But um, he explained to us things through action. This is how he explained to us things. Where he would give us things to do, and knowledge will come from within. I remember <laughs> Swamiji was teaching the it's a very rare course. It's the, the sadhana intensive. It's a hatha yoga course, an advanced hatha yoga course. And he is a hatha yoga master. There are very few people alive which had the knowledge that Swamiji had. And after many years, he taught this very precious course. And then some of his close, closest disciples uh, were pulled out from the sadhana intensive in the middle and for reasons that they, karma yoga needs to be done. 
And he told them this, like going and do reception. Like, he says, this is also sadhana intensive. This is what he said. This is also, this is as intensive as advanced hatha yoga, maybe more. So what is as intensive as advanced hatha yoga? It's difficult to do the yogic practices, but it's more difficult to renounce in order to serve others. This is much more difficult. To renounce very beloved things in order to serve others, it's much more difficult. So in a sense, it's a more advanced sadhana. So, so enlightenment is not something that we talk about. This is up to the guru to talk about or not to talk about, to confirm in one way or in another way. We know the definitions, but the definitions are conceptual or intellectual. The actual, the actual knowledge about the levels of enlightenment, we only receive from our gurus. And different gurus do it differently. Swamiji did it through karma yoga, through service to others. For example, he would say that when awakening happens, your heart is going to burst. To burst means with love and compassion to others. And you'll have so much energy to serve that you'll be able to do anything. He would say so. And then he would say many, many more things. So his confirmation was to action. That was his confirmation. And knowledge came from within. There was a student that for many years wanted to, this, this is a stuff, right? To be a stuff means it's more than TTC, more than ATTC, more than Southern Intensive, is A, 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 TTC, like, like, and this is the truth. And I mentioned how the more, the closest disciple of Swamiji, they were the ones that would start karma yoga at 5.30 in the morning and would end at 11.30 at night. They were the ones. And so one time, one of the disciples of Swamiji, close disciple, after many years got the opportunity to take advanced yoga teacher training course. And again, Swamiji, for the sake of service, pulled the person out of the course and told the person, I promise you, you're going to get this ATTC in a different way. And Swamiji, I heard from that person, Swamiji kept his promise. Kept his promise. Swamiji gave it, the whole thing, but in a different way, from within, which is even better. So, so we are very careful when we speak about enlightenment. It's not something that should be spoken much of. We have to be very, very careful. This is a very confidential thing between the disciple and the guru. We can speak about practice. This we can do a lot. Um, that's all I have to say.